Hello, this is Xavier from xdtutorials.com and today we're going to be covering part two of the advanced selections which is all about the tool drop down menu. In part one we covered quick mask in order to make complicated selections quite easily. In part three we're going to be going over the tool options dialog tab with the selection uh, options. So in today we're basically going to be covering this option right here up in the toolbar you'll see that there's a select if you click on it you get a bunch of different selection options that will be available to you you can get to the same menu option by right clicking on your image and then selecting select the first one we have is all and it selects the entire image that you have active currently select none just does the opposite selects nothing Select Invert is really nice if you say create a, a box, let's say I just do a black box in the middle of my screen, I can do Select Invert. It selects everything except for that black box and now I can just paste it in with white. So the black box isn't touched whatsoever. I can just do that and invert it, paste it, there goes my black box. Select Feather is also kind of a neat little trick. If I make an active selection, do Select Feather. I'm just going to feather it by, let's say, 50 just to make it painfully obvious and fill it in with black. What you're going to notice is that I have a feathered edge to my selection here. So you get this feathered or blurry edge. Um, it just goes from black all the way down to white on the image. Select Sharpen does the exact opposite. It's really nice for when you do, say, a select by color and you get like a real jagged edge. You can just do Select Sharpen and it'll remove that fuzziness from the selection. Select Shrink, what it does is it makes the selection smaller. So let's say I wanted to make a quick border, you know, just a black line or whatnot. What I could do is do Select shrink shrink it by say five pixels and then x out or you know cut out the middle of that and now i have a nice black border of a box select grow does the exact opposite so if i'm making an active selection i do select grow grow it by 20 pixels and now fill it in you notice that I get something like that. Our next option is select border. What I did is I did select all. I'm going to click on border and I'm going to make a border of say 60 pixels and you'll notice now I get a border around my image. That works with any active selection. So if I make a selection like this, I do select border of you know 10 pixels you'll notice now I get a border just like that. Select Distort is kind of a funky little option here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a new board, new layer here just to kind of show this off. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rectangle selection here. I'm going to do Select Distort now you can play with these different options, you know, increase the threshold and, and see what they do. Um, the last time I used this, I kind of used it for like a uh, torn paper type of effect. Kind of gives you a funky uh, selection. It's real random. And you get something like that. You kind of can see it kind of looks like a piece of torn paper. But you can play with those different options to get different uh, lengths and different sizes of the distorted border like that. Select rounded rectangle just makes a basically rounded edges of your rectangle. So you can make an active selection of a rectangle here. Do rounded rectangle. Dialog will come up. Basically select a radius. Hit OK. Now I kind of get this ovalish type of a active selection. The last thing I want to show you in the selection option is the selection editor. 
What this is, is it basically is going to tell you everything that is selected. So if it's not selected, it's going to be black. If it is selected, it's going to be white. So again, this can help you with really complicated selections. You're only going to see black and white in this selection editor. But again, it's really nice if you have a complicated selection that you're doing. You can easily tell which parts of the image are selected and which part of the image isn't selected. Hopefully you found this tutorial to be helpful. There is a part one which goes over quick mask and part three goes over the tool options of advanced selections. Otherwise, if you like the video, please subscribe and uh, send me uh, emails if you have any questions or tutorials that you want to see in the future at xavier at xdtutorials.com. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.